video we're going to see your options uh, for changing the look and feel of uh, a, a SharePoint online wiki page. Um, what I'm using here is uh, the SharePoint Enterprise uh, wiki. Uh, so this gives you more control over what can be changed uh, on the on the wiki itself. We're going to take a look at three options. Uh, one is changing the the uh, banner along the top. Second option is to change the, the look and feel of the, the, the overall site itself. And the third option uh, is options around using CSS cascading style sheets. Okay, so first option is pretty straightforward. You can see this is a pretty pretty generic, pretty pretty bland uh, site uh, at the moment. Uh, what you can do is change the banner along the top. Pretty straightforward. Simply click the, the cog at the top uh, right here. And then uh, where it says themes, you can choose uh, a different theme uh, to, to apply along the top. Personally, I think a lot of these themes are kind of garish uh, and a little bit too too bright and perhaps hurt your eyes. So generally, I recommend sticking with a, a reasonably uh, neutral theme, something something like this. But it's I guess it's up to your 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 own tastes. Um, once you've done that, once you've chosen the the theme that applies along the top, your next option is changing the overall look uh, of the the site itself. Where that's done is under site settings. So in site settings, if you go here, if you're using the enterprise wiki, uh, the default enterprise wiki that you get out of the box, uh, then you'll have this option here called look and feel. And there's various things that you can do here, but the, the key point is we can go to change the look, uh, and that will let you then look uh, at a series of different styles that you can that you can choose from. These are out of the box styles. You can actually customize these as well. There are options for customization. Uh, but if we choose a pretty pretty radically different one here, this immerse, for example, uh, let's try this out. See what it looks like. Okay, so there we go. There's a preview uh, of what it looks like. It does take SharePoint a wee bit of time to, to render uh, the the previews and so on. But if you're happy, then what you can do is go ahead and say yes, keep this. And there we go. That is now what our wiki page, uh, uh, subject to the refresh issues, this is what the, the wiki page looks like uh, once it, it completes uh, its its uh, processing. Okay, um, so that's the option for, for changing that. The third option is to use CSS, cascading style sheets. Now, I'm not going to cover the ins and outs of cascading style sheets in this, uh, in this brief video, but the idea is that you can specify, you know, uh, different different headings, for example, to have certain parameters. So uh, and that can apply to any of the elements uh, on the page itself. So there's lots of resources out there on CSS. For now, uh, I've created a, a very simple CSS. Okay, what you do is create your CSS. It's a small text file, and you store it in the SharePoint site in question for the for the wiki. Go to site contents, and if you go to there's a, a document library called Site Assets. Go into Site Assets. Uh, and this uh, is then where you can add uh, your, your CSS. So you can see there, I've got a CSS preloaded called demo CSS, okay? That's a very, very simple CSS file. Uh, and if you look at it, all it's doing is making the, 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 the fonts bigger for my H1 and H2, uh, heading one and heading two uh, tags within my, my SharePoint pages. So once your, your, your CSS uh, is in the site assets library, how do you get SharePoint to actually use it? Um, so the answer is you go back to uh, the, the site settings, okay? So just remember the size of the summary and background tabs here. You go to the, the site settings, once again, okay? Uh, and you go to the, the design manager, okay? So there's design manager. And on this page, there's various options here, but what you're interested in is option number seven called publish and apply design. So select that. And then select this option to assign master pages to your site based on device channel. Click on that link and go down to ignore the rest of these settings here. Uh, just go down to the alternate CSS URL. And here you can specify, you can tell SharePoint what CSS file to use. So let's actually select that. Next step, of course, is to actually choose the CSS file. Remember, we've stored it in the site assets library here. So click on browse and Go to your site assets library. There it is. Okay. Uh, and there's my, my demo CSS that I uploaded previously. Okay. So just select that. Click on insert. And when you've done that, click on okay. 
What this is now going to do is to tell SharePoint to actually use that CSS file to adjust the styles of, of elements on these pages. Okay, so if we go back now to our main homepage for the wiki itself, there you go. You can see now the H1 elements, the heading one elements are now huge. So more mountains, the summary, the background, all of my H1s are bigger. Why are they bigger? Well, because I told the CSS file, uh, I told SharePoint using the CSS file to make these tags uh, or these elements much, much bigger. So there we go. A couple of very simple options that you can use to adjust the look and feel uh, of, of uh, SharePoint uh, wiki pages. There are, of course, further options around this. There's things like creating custom, custom color palettes uh, and so on that you can also use. You can create custom themes, uh, but certainly for the, the basics uh, of, of rebranding a SharePoint wiki site, uh, hopefully that gives you a good uh, idea of, of what's possible.